See that house behind me? My team and I busted our asses to get this done. Let's talk about it. Big house, mini lights. That's better. Clearly, the real estate market has not been kind to anyone, especially the DC market. And that's where we're at today. 921 Euclid Street, Northwest, Washington, DC. For those that don't know me, I'm Hans Peterson. I do real estate development. Today, I wanna to share a few things that we did to make sure we got this deal done and sold in the current market. Any type of real estate development is hard. However, if you have a great team that can execute, it makes every project that much smoother. So we're gonna start off with some of the high level points of this home. Some of those things are five bedrooms, three and a half baths, around 2,900 square feet. But the beauty of this home is it's brand new, single family, detached, ground up construction. I said all of those words mainly because that is the rarest thing that you're gonna find in DC. So before these homes were built, vacant lot, raw land. I mean, there was six parking spacers or something like that. So everything from the foundation to the roof, everything in between, brand new. One garage, two garages. You just don't see that in DC ever. So now that the big picture kind of stuff is out of the way, let's talk about some of the details and why this home is rare. So this is the first floor kitchenette has everything the upstairs kitchen has with the exception of a cooktop, but you can plug one of those inductions in and have everything the kitchen upstairs has. The really cool thing about this are the shelves. And the reason why they're so cool is because these shelves were actually reclaimed out of a DC row house. These are the floor joists. Like you can see all the nail holes. So these were probably early 1900s, maybe late 1800s. And all we really did with them is we sanded them down, cleaned them up, and then we put a couple coats of poly on it, and that's it, and hung the shelves. But reclaimed features makes the home beautiful. This room can be anything you want, whether it's an office, playroom, but the thing I wanna talk about is this eight foot tall repurposed pocket door. So this door actually came out of another DC row house. We decided it would look better as a barn door. So we just put on some tracks, and it's just a beautiful piece. And I think the other thing that I wanna show you is that right here, the mechanism still works that you would use to actually take it out of the pocket door inside the wall and close it. Only bathroom on this floor, beautiful shower. Traditional bedroom, queen size bed, big closet. Mechanical room, full size washer and dryer, and then the entryway. Doors from California, just beautiful. Don't forget the stair lighting. Either way, we're done with this floor. This is the second floor of the home, the main living space. Our goal in the design of this home was to make this home feel as if it was a building built over 100 years ago. Maybe an old carriage house, factory, something like that. We wanted that DC feel, but with brand new ground up construction. So we did two things. We focused on the inside and we focused on the outside. So the interior has beautiful exposed brick that makes it feel just like any other DC row house. It has 20 foot long oak beams on the ceiling. And then in the middle of the home, we have exposed steel that runs all the way into the powder room. All of these elements make people feel in question, how long have they been here? And that was our goal. Now to the exterior. The home itself is kind of boxy, but we did that on purpose, right? Above each of the garages, we use some steel C channel, and then we put little pieces of steel on the front of the home. And the brick itself is called Old City. It looks distressed, it looks old. All of this was done with purpose to give it that exterior feel of something that was built at least 100 years ago. Primary bedroom, huge walk-in closet, Juliet balcony for all you romantics, and then massive, massive bathroom. Right when you walk in, there's a motion sensor that turns on and off the under cabinet lighting. So at night, if you gotta go pee pee, you can see. It has an LED mirror and all the bathrooms in the home actually have LED mirrors. The wet room has a standalone bathtub and a shower that has a main head, a rain head, and a wand. The last two bedrooms share a buddy bath that has a shower and double sink with pocket doors to the entrances. And one of the bedrooms actually has a walkout balcony. 
there you have it. Teamwork makes a dream work. Let's get to work.